All right, y'all, I'm gonna make a little video talking about this amazing tree right here, the mountain sour sop. But before I do, I wanna give a little context as to where I'm at and what I'm doing, what I'm working on. Um, this property belongs to my friend Chuck. He, uh, he's been collecting trees for a couple years now and um, I first learned about this property because I came to visit my friend Andrew, who was doing some annual gardening in his backyard um, and also helped set this food forest up right here in the front yard. Kind of retrofitted a food forest into already existing established trees like this mountain sour stop. Um, but Andrew has moved out of Naples and now Chuck doesn't have anybody to maintain the food forest. And I reached out to him and told him that I I love maintaining food forests, <laughs> and that's kind of all I ever want to do. So um, I told him I I could do it in the centropic style, and he was totally down for it. And so here's my first day on the job, and I got to work with this magnificent tree right here, Mountain Sour Sop. So he had a, an arborist friend come here a couple days ago and just do a kind of a hack job pruning um, and brought all this amazing material to the ground and uh, I'm organizing that and feeding it these bananas here because my friend Andrew who was here previously um, planted some really cool and rare varieties of bananas got this one right here with a nice rack on it I uh, wish I could tell you guys which one it is there's usually a sign I'll try to figure that out because this is a really cool looking, cool looking banana or plantain, I'm not sure. But um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting the trimmings from the beautiful uh, mountain tower sap and feeding, feeding the bananas with it. But I made, I want to make this video to specifically highlight mountain tower sap and its potential as an agroforestry powerhouse for South Florida. Um, so. The fruit itself, to most people, is not very desirable. I kind of, I dig, I dig the taste. I, I actually like it. Um, obviously, nowhere near as good as an actual soursop, soursop. And it's kind of like super aromatic, kind of very sour. Not very sour, but not a lot of sweetness to it. Texture is not all that great. But actually, like, I could eat this whole, and I've heard other people say that they can just take a few bites of it and have to ditch it because they don't like it. Mm. That's good stuff. Okay, sorry. Um, so, so, this tree, the way it responds to prunings is just so... So perfect for agroforestry purposes. Nice, straight, re-sprouts. Nice, dense foliage. The wood itself is super soft and easy to work with with just a machete. The fruits it drops. Create so much life around it. You can already look at this fruit that dropped. It's already black soil, millipede soil, castings and stuff in there. Just because the little critters love eating the uh, the fallen fruit. Seeds are abundant, so you can propagate them really easily. So here's another. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Um, you can graft other Anona species onto it. And it's a vigorous rootstock, as you can see how vigorous this tree is. Um, and I don't know, just an overall amazing tree. And I'm so stoked to be working with it. Um, it's just a tree of abundance, you know, it's, it gives so much. And you can see it takes a lot of damage and it just keeps on giving and keeps on giving. Um, 
And now these nice bananas are gonna get treat. And this was a low spot on the property, or this is a low spot. And I've just been putting all the material here. Just look it. That's abundance right there. So mountain sour sop. Plant it even if you don't like the fruit. It does wonders in an agroforestry food forest system. All love to the mountain sour sop tree. So I finished up management on the um, mountain sour sops on Nona Montana. Cleaned up the pruning job a little bit and uh, organize all the organic matter so that um, these bananas can be well fed. You can see all that leaf material and underneath all that leaf material it's a lot of branch and trunkier material. Um, so that's that for the mountain soursop. You can see the this area now has a lot more sunlight penetration in. I wish I would have taken a video before the arborist pruned everything back because they were just crazy, crazy trees, I remember. But now there's a cool patch here to work with. Look at all that sun. Um, it's got nice uh, protection from the morning sun and then really pretty much all day sun after that. Um, Check the bananas out as well. They're over here, they're getting fed very well. I put a little extra emphasis on this one, fruiting. There's a lot of trunk material under here as well. But that's my uh, first experience working with mountain tower sop in an agroforestry context and super, super excited about it. Awesome tree. Peace.